game tied. We're not getting any output now. So, oh boy. Getting excellent connection. Not sure what the, oh, there we go. It's coming in. There we go. Okay. Sorry again, ladies and gentlemen, for that. I think we've got things dialed in a little bit better. So I just had to reboot the system there and hopefully that's a better quality viewing experience as we see Greenland's going to take possession of the... Oh, we're going to restart back there. A little rule handball there. Always got to restart play from the point of the foul or the point of the mistake. Greenland setting up their offense, calling out plays. Looks like number 10, Josephine Gadgard. Right back there. She was one of the leading scorers of yesterday's game against Cuba. So we see a pass go off the post. Unfortunately, hits the foot of Gascon. Oh, man. It's really tough to read the, the ball as it bounces with the stick -um. You don't know how much it's going to stick on the ground or how much it's going to bounce back up to you. So that one, unfortunately, clipped, a, clipped her foot. It'll stay Greenland ball. Greenland working it around. Slashing through. Finding real estate. Tough one there, especially after they got a, a stop earlier, but can could not maintain possession. Team USA looks to bounce back here. Solid start to the game for them. Definitely have to be pleased. Got Maria Vallone in at left wing. Kathy Darling at left back. Ashley Butler working around. Got our German cross there with Sarah Gascon in at pivot. Julia Taylor. Seeing some time at center back here this this week, which is always good to see. The veteran out of North Carolina. Reset play there after that shot goes wide. She was pretty well uh, wrapped up trying to get that shot off. Yesterday, the referees just let the ladies play. As we see that one, that pass from Butler goes wide. Greenland pushing in the second wave, finding an open pivot, capitalizing on it. Hardest part of, of defense there is getting back, getting set, finding, you know, where the open people are. That one was tough because there's three three defenders right there, but people lost track of, of where they were at. So we see another USA turnover. Greenland pushing. Oh, pass goes wide. Sophie Fazold in transition finds Butler. And that one. Sails wide of the cage. Couldn't tell if it was saved by the Greenlander keeper or not. Uh, I wish I could tell you who the Greenland goalie was, but the IHF match reports don't say what position people play, so just have to keep it open for interpretation. Maybe we'll figure it out at halftime. Scores now Greenland 4, USA 2. Just over nine minutes played in this first half of action. Greenland moving the ball quickly around the backcourt. Finding space, just inches of space to get that shot off there. Sneaks it past the hip of goalkeeper Sophie Fazold. Sophie had a stellar performance, was named player of the match yesterday. 19 saves against Canada. Looking to have another fantastic evening between the pipes. As we see our new left back, Zarina Monroy. Give Kathy Darling a little bit of a break here early on in this game. Feeding it into the pivot. Gascon can't get that one to go. Looking for 7 meter. Maybe hoping the Greenlandic defense was playing inside the 6. Nothing working. Monroy, top shelf. There we go. Pour one out early there. That's what we need. USA 3, Greenland 5. Great shot there from Zarina Monroy. So we see now some high pressure defense. Playing a little 5 1. Making the Greenland backcourt have to make some more decisions as that one is floated over the goal after a great breakthrough opportunity there. 
when you guys when when, when teams play uh, a non traditional six flat defense, it opens up space along the six. And as a result, the defense has to move their feet. We saw the U.S. got bailed out there after the shot goes high over the bar. We'll see what they do next time down as we're now set up on offense. Ashley Butler gets wrapped up for a 9-meter there trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. Nothing going there. We saw a lot of that yesterday against Canada. Solid Canadian defense. It's really stopping any opportunities the Americans had. Butler shot save between the legs. Greenland looking to push in transition. They find an open teammate off the post. Off the post and out of bounds. Another lucky break for the Americans. Love to see it here early in this one. Just over 11 played. I know Sophie had quite a few uh, post saves there yesterday and wouldn't complain about a few more today. So I can't quite tell. I think we got Liz Hartnett over in at right wing. Again, doing my best to identify everyone by their knee pad, knee sleeves, socks, shoes, hairstyle as best as possible. It's hard to see the numbers on the, the feed I have here as we see the dribble from Monroy go off the foot and Greenland looks to push it in transition, burying that one. A lot of fans. Look at the boomwhackers in the stands. Holy cannoli. They are going absolutely berserk and nuke. Not sure when the last time they had some some matches here, uh, but uh, definitely based on the camera angles, looks like uh, most of the town is coming out to watch this one. They are excited to be hosting this event, and we're excited to uh, be taking part on it. As we see... U.S. trying to find options. They got three people in at the, the six meter. Not a lot of options for Butler. Passive play is awarded. Unfortunately, dribbled off the foot there. And that'll be a Greenlandic fast break goal. Not much can be done there. Definitely uh, dribbling off the foot, like we said. It's the way the stick is going to come off your hand, where it's going to come off the ground. A little bit tough to read. Takes a lot of, uh, you know, feel for the ball. Maybe I'm not sure what stick I'm they're using, whether it's water-based or, or something else. But uh, we'll see if that continues to play a factor here for Team USA in this one. So we see, I think, Katie Timmerin step into the game. Could be wrong. Katie comes to us from uh, a basketball background. Recently playing at uh, school in California and picked up handballs recently as a few months ago. So we see a save there from Fazzle. That one unfortunately goes out the side. If it had gone out the back, would have been goalkeeper ball, but unfortunately went out the side and it'll remain in possession of Greenland. But uh, yeah, for Timmerman, she, she stepped onto the handball court only a few months ago and here she is representing Team USA in a world championship qualifier. So I think that's a really great testament to any young ladies out there that are looking to get a, an opportunity as we see another Greenlandic goal there. Uh, anybody looking for an opportunity to make this squad and, and be a part of a really cool experience as we continue to build our program towards LA in 2028. Coach Bor Borsos has seen enough uh, here in the first half and is elected to call timeout. Greenland now leading 8-3 to three with 14 and a half minutes played in this first half. I actually, excuse me, I think that was Lysha Martinez that was in at center back there. So still an excellent piece about Katie. Uh, that being said here, looking at these first 14 minutes, I think we've Improved our stream quality, so uh, I apologize for the issues that we had yesterday and today. We seem to have it all dialed in now, and hopefully can keep that up through the rest of the games uh, for the remainder of this week. This timeout here, you have to think, Coach Borsos is really, you know, talking about the offensive woes, seeing what we can do to find some opportunities. Uh, to get get the ball in the back of the net because we've, we've been scoring. Uh, as we saw against Canada, we had some good early opportunities, but 
some strong defenses made things difficult for our ladies. And once again, similar story as yesterday with the transition. Greenland's looking to push it. A lot of a lot of quick restarts, quick saves, quick recoveries, looking to get that second wave moving and attack. So we'll see as we restart play here. Martinez calling up the plays. Working it around to the wing. Nowhere to operate on that right wing position. Solid defense there. Again, ball movement, really key aspect here as we see Greenland locking off Kathy Darling as she's one of their popular outside of nine meter scoring threats. Again, on these nine meter restarts, you gotta be three, three meters away. So we're working it around. Small angle on that wing shot. She tries to get the pass off to anybody. Couldn't find Darling on that one. And we look, see a slashing Greenlandic player coming through for the goal there. Not much Fazold can do about that one. Peyton McCarthy coming in, taking over for Sarah Gascon at the pivot position. Looking like Kathy Darling doing what any veteran player would do when they're getting locked off, going in at second pivot. Trying to level the playing field for her offensive teammates as we see Martinez shot blocked. Greenland in transition, playing a little give and go. There's another goal for Greenland. Extending their lead now 10-3 to here with 16 minutes played in this first half of action live from Nuke Greenland for the NACHC World Championship Qualifiers. McCarthy's going to take a seat. Excuse me. Uh, I think that was Martinez that's going to take a seat here. Ashley Butler's going to come in. Be the floor general here at the center back position. They've stopped locking off Darling. Let's see if that adds any uh, luck to this offensive set here. Greenland's got some size in the interior, so it might be tough for, for Darling to get some of her famous jump shots off. Butler trying to feed one-on-one -on -one to McCarthy. Nowhere to go. McCarthy quickly wraps up the Greenlandic defender, and Greenland, though, wastes no time in getting down the court. They pull the ball back out, though. Reset. Take a breath. Evaluate how they want to slice up this attack. U.S. once again, really trying to build off this experience to continue to grow their player pool and uh, gain experiences for their younger athletes. As we see a nice save there from Fettel as she looks to outlet. Wings are covered. We'll see what we can do in the second wave. Butler pushing. Stuffed and stolen by number four of Greenland, and she buries that one top corner. But yeah, once again, our ladies team here, great opportunity here in five years for LA 2028. So anybody that's interested in getting involved with handball, now would be a fantastic time. A lot of great opportunities coming down, whether that's on the court or off the court. Young, old, we're looking for volunteers and anyone looking to support. Wide range of skills are needed to help make this whole operation possible as we see Greenland Stepping out, being being aggressive on defense there as the U.S. is working it around the backcourt. Shot saved from the Greenlander keeper and Greenland looking to run in transition. Solid recovery defense there. As we see a ill-advised defensive substitution there, which led to the Greenlander wing goal. Looking at uh, Greenland's stat line from yesterday's match against Cuba, they had a couple players with, with five goals apiece. So we'll see if, uh, which we've already called out a couple of them here. Number 10, Josephine Gedgard, and number 4, Anya Heilman. So we'll see if they can add to their goal totals for this, uh, this tournament. Darling shot 
might have been deflected there, but goalkeeper got a hand on it, sent it out the back. So she got possession there as we see a slashing Heilman, Anya Heilman, with another goal there. Greenland now leads 13 to 3. This Team USA has been without a goal here for, I want to say, almost 14 minutes of gameplay. Taking their time to set up their offense. Darling to cross. We got Timmerman in the game now. Malone to Timmerman. Darling to immediately double teamed. McCarthy gets the shot off, but it looks like she's going to get a two minute awarded great fight there from Peyton McCarthy as uh, the defender was draped all over her back. And Looks like Team USA is going to have an opportunity to step up to the 7 meter stripe. Can't quite tell who's stepping in to take this. Looks like it's Maria. V oh, uh, Daisy Leche. Lecia. My apologies. She sends that one high. My, apo my apologies, Daisy. One of those opportunities where you really. Uh, Really got to make the most of any of your 7 meter opportunities in a game like this where we've, we've seen Team USA struggle to find opportunities to get shots off from 6. Strong defense from Greenland has, has made things difficult as we uh, might have a warning given out to, uh, looks like, I'm not sure if it's a 2 minute or a, a warning given out to uh, the member of the bench for Team USA. Still got, uh, can't quite tell if we got, we only have five players on for Team USA and six for Greenland. So I'm going to say that uh, someone must have said something during the, said something to the table of the referee that they did not like as we see the feed into the pivot denied there by Fazold as she sends it to the empty net. Oh, just wide. Greenland elected to pull the goalie while they played man down to capitalize on the player advantage there. Excuse me, woman down. My apologies. Uh, unfortunately, for 38 yard heave, 38 meter heave, sailed just wide. I don't blame her. I definitely would have taken that shot as myself, seeing how our offenses struggled to find easy shot opportunities. What's easier than an empty net? So we see shot go wide there from Greenland. Fazold to do it again. Bounces, and that one's in. There we go. Put her on the board. Sophie Fazold on the board now with a goal, making it 14, oh, 3, 13 to 4. Greenland over USA. Definitely a, a highlight for most goalkeepers to have that opportunity to get the full court shot. A lot more common in beach handball, as in beach handball they typically will play offensive player advantage by pulling the goalie, since the offensive specialist is worth two points. As we see Greenland, great ball movement to capitalize on the open space, and that'll make it 14-4. to four. The Boomwhackers in full force for Greenland. Don't know what they call it in Greenlandic, but I'd love to hear it. What a what a wild language it is. Uh, trying to translate some of the tournament posters and other items associated with this event have been quite entertaining for me. A lot of consonants together as we see the pass get stolen. Greenlandic defense. They look to push it in transition. Great transition defense there from Kathy Darling as she was able to swat the ball out of the hands of the uh, Greenlandic player as McCarthy working it in the offensive end and is gets herself a, another two minute uh, that she she was a part of. So great work there as she passed the ball off and one of the Greenlandic players shoved her down. So that's a it's a pretty good plus minus here. I'd like to think for Miss McCarthy as she's. Help generate some 
player advantages for this USA side. We'll see if uh, Greenland elects to pull the goalie here as we have an injured player coming off for them. But when they return to the offensive end, we'll see if they pull the goalie or what they'll do after Fazold got the got the bucket last time. Now, Team USA with the player advantage, can they capitalize on it? they got two minutes here to make the most of this before halftime. Seven minutes to play in this first half of action. That's unfortunately pass going just wide of our wing. Not much they can do there. And it'll be Greenland ball. Looks like Greenland will pull the goalie. So it's an empty net right now. We'll see if Team USA can get an easy, easy stop. Might lead to another empty net goal. Greenland working it around. Trying to capitalize on the the uh, inexperienced McCarthy. The swim move was too much for her. And she held on for a little too long. Referees didn't like that. And now she'll be taking a seat for two minutes here as they'll come and clean up the sweat off the floor. But good fight there for McCarthy. She's definitely helped warrant generating some some offense and some production here but unfortunately the swim move was a little too fast for her. Greenland working it around now again empty net opportunity six on five here advantage for them in this offensive set pass goes a little high they're going to take their time we'll see uh, how long the referee is going to take before they give a passive play as it's almost stolen there, and it looks like Taylor might have jammed her finger. She is down and in a lot of pain. Oh, that's not good here, ladies and gentlemen. Julia Taylor holding that, that left arm here as they help her off the court. We'll see if uh, there. everyone is signaling for a medic. This is not good here for this USA squad as she was helping to lead that attack from the center back position hopefully we can uh, get an update on her status at halftime and hopefully it's all all for the best but medics are taking a look at her right now and uh, we'll see see how things shake up in the meantime Butler looks like she'll be Stepping in to, to help with the center back duties and leading the offense. Again, Team USA will be playing man down here. Excuse me, woman down for another minute and a half, I want to say, but it'll be five on five for at least the this next 30 seconds. So we'll see if we can get a goal. With the five on five, there should be a lot of spacing opportunities here. So we see tons of real estate for Valone. She floats that one just a bit too high and off the crossbar. Could not get the right side of that one on this on that shot. Handball is a unique game in the sense that the uh, goals have uh, square posts. Soccer, it's, it's rounded. Hockey, it's rounded. Lacrosse, it's rounded. But square posts here uh, with the round balls. So you get some interesting bounces off the post there. That one just unfortunately is on the wrong side of the pipe as Greenland gets another wing shot. Denied by Fezold. Sophie the safe locking things up. Much needed defensive stand there. Greenland returns to full strength. As we see Team USA taking their time. Again, need to make the most of this offensive possession until they can return to full strength. Alone, ISO, immediately stuffed by her defender. Darling, I think we got Timmerman in, floats it, two on one, Valone again. And they're gonna say that she stepped inside of the six. She was looking, looking for that seven meter call. A common wing tactic there. So we see the skip pass to the right wing. That one rattles its way home. Off. Oh, excuse me. My apologies. It 
I thought it I thought it bent went into the net it, it actually hit off two of the crossbars and stayed out. Another lucky bounce for Sophie. She continues to lock things down there in goal. US back to full strength. Gascon in it pivot. Darling. To her right. Crosses with Butler. Butler's pass low and away to Timmerman. Not much she can do there. Again, great to see an individual like Katie Timmerman step onto this court after only playing handball for a few short months. And contributing here early in this game, as we see Greenland's going to elect to take a timeout here right before halftime. Unique uh, aspect of handball is typically you get one timeout. Uh, each team gets one timeout per half, and they'll have a timeout that floats between the halves. So you can either elect to have two timeouts in the first half or two timeouts in the second half, but you cannot have two timeouts in each half. So definitely worth having a little, little talk here before halftime. Go over a few tactics. Uh, things they might want to implement for the second half. Greenland's had their fair share of mistakes as well, so there's plenty of things to tighten up. Uh, but at the same time, I'd love to see some offensive adjustments from our, our ladies on the U.S. side as they are struggling to find great opportunities from 6-6. Six, six. We've had uh, last few shots from Maria Vallone have been in decent looks, decent looks, but still... Still contested, so uh, we've just seen a, a couple more breakthrough opportunities from the Greenlandic squad than we have from this U.S. team. As they've, as you can tell from their play, they're looking to have some one-on-one -on -one success, but just has not been the case today, nor was it yesterday. So we'll see how they can continue to build on that. Uh, thank you to Matt Collins who let me know that our goalie from Greenland, who's been having a pretty solid game, is. Uh, excuse me, I almost spread the name from Cuba uh, looking at the match report, but our Greenlandic goalie is Nivy Fly, and she is flying today, making a lot of great saves. I want to make a comment that the number 12 for Cuba is Indiana Ramos. So, definitely uh, a unique one there. Not a name I see too often, Indiana, being from Ohio myself. Don't get to see too many people besides Indiana Jones out there. But great work from, from Nivy Fly as she's been... I, I gave her a little bit of commentator's curse there as we see a missile launched into the top left corner there from Kathy Darling. That one flew right past Fly. Great work here from Team USA as they now cut the lead to 9, trailing 14-5 to five with just about 28 minutes played in this first half of action. Playing a little bit higher defense. Timmerman stepping out that 9-meter area. As we see a slash through from left back of Greenland. But it looks like two minutes going to be awarded. Uh, couldn't quite tell who it was. And they're going to give her a 7. Hard to see on the, on the feed here, but my guess would be she uh, must have made contact from behind or the side in the act of shooting. As we see Sana Wheeler step into the cage here. See if she can have uh, some good success after a solid save at 7 yesterday. Oh, did not get that one. Nice new camera angle here. Sana will re-exit the court. Let Sophie step back on. Definitely nice on the 7s to... Uh, Mix it up, goalkeepers. Give the opposing shooter a different view. Might mix things up for him. So we see Darling looking to find some opportunities there. Gascon trucking people in the middle. And uh, referees said, let him play. Let him play. Working it around. Darling trying to find some opportunities. Got to spread things back out as they continue to play. At a disadvantage, Butler's shot is blocked. Fly recovers. Anya Heilman with the ball. Haven't seen much from her recently. See if she can get back to her five-goal game pace. Again, 
Penalties were a big issue in yesterday's match for Team USA against Canada. Racking up five two-minute penalties. And I think we're already at three or four today. So Valone tried to help out in the interior, but gave up a third of the court there to the Greenlandic wing, which not much goaltender Sophie Fazold can do about that one. Greenland now lead 16 to 5. 30 seconds to play in this first half of action from Nuke Greenland in this women's world championship qualifier. Continuing to work it around the backcourt. Big open cross from Darling. Gascon. Timmerman. Gascon with two defenders on her. Tick, 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 four. We're running out of time here. Shot coming from Darling. Saved by Fly. Can't tell if Kathy was hurt after that shot or if she was just a little upset with herself that she didn't finish it. Well, there you have it, folks. Score at halftime. Greenland 16. USA 5. Try to do a better job of keeping stats here uh, as far as uh, our goals here. But uh, I definitely had some feedback from our friends on Twitter to stay tuned to watch some of these Greenlandic commercials as we see uh, a little live commentary here. I'm not sure what's going on. Guy's getting in his car. Thinks it's time he's got to go to the boat. Maybe he's going to the office. Things seem pretty lax in Greenland. Don't need to button the top button. Just don't have to have any computer screens on. Oh, just take a sip of your coffee, and next thing you know, you're sailing the seven seas. Beautiful landscape in Greenland. One of those uh, areas that, you know, there's all the the mythical lore of why it's named Greenland when it's covered in ice, and why Iceland's green and doesn't have any <laughs> any ice anywhere there. So, except for the fjords, but looks to be a bank commercial. I'm not a expert translator but my guess there would be Greenland's bank so got a nice little sports uh, sports commercial here playing some handball Greenlanders love handball love to see it, at least being broadcast here on national Greenlandic television everybody playing handball and soccer in the snow that's something they probably have plenty of there snow it's always cool to see people, you know, continuing to develop their skills and where they started and playing at the professional and international levels. As we see some futsal there. It's all about nationality and passion and the nationalism to root for your country and, you know, put on a great show for your country. It's a great commercial here from Greenland as they really show everybody getting behind their sports so elite sport greenland i know has helped putting on this event as we'll break away to our commentators while they're talking i might uh give my own little recap analysis here the first half of action looking at the game uh 16 to 5 here first half Good bit more offensive production, I think, from the U.S. as opposed to their game yesterday against Canada. Um, even though yesterday the halftime score was 14 to six, so a similar storyline. Um, I just feel like they've had uh, some decent looks, just haven't capitalized on them. Defensively, though, they've they've done a better job of preve preventing the second wave attack that Canada really capitalized on. Uh, on, the, on the flip side, though, Greenland's definitely found some gaps in the defense. Uh, second half of action yesterday against Canada, Canada's left wing really went to town, was making a lot of goals later in the later in the game, and uh, not much the U.S. could do to to stop her. That being said, looking to see how the U.S. can improve on it on, uh, for the second half and continue to learn from their skills. I'd like to see some some better ball movement. Um, got a lot of individualistic styles, I think. Uh, people like to get the ball with some speed, make their one-on-one -on -one move, and 
try to look to either feed a, a teammate nearby or just get the shot off. Um, as we saw with the game yesterday and a little bit of the game today, referees are kind of letting those shots get off. So if you, you know, might be contested, but if you're getting a shot off clean, they're going to let it stand. And I think the U.S. players are definitely looking to have have some of those game have some of those shots called back for a nine meter. So we'll see if uh, how that changes here. Just trying to get some more spacing between the defenders. Otherwise, I think you know. Just building on that chemistry. A lot of our, our our players have been with Team USA for quite some time, but after that, there's a quite a few that are pretty new. Uh, looking down the list, you know, there's there's. Let me count here real quick. One, I would say there's at least at least five or six players that have kind of come into the the U.S. fold here in the last uh, year or so, um, which is makes it tough. When this game is so heavily uh, reliant on, you know, one's ability to work with the players around you. So if you don't know, you know, when you make a, a move to the left or the right, where your teammate who's ever on that side is going to be, it's very difficult to, uh, you know, really facilitate some offense. Same same goes on defense that, you know, you're helping out and maybe your teammate doesn't want to help. Maybe you know that they're going to need the help, but it's all about working together. Um that's why handball is really a cool sport uh, that most people don't really think about, that there's constantly uh, going to be someone that's going to need support or you're going to have to constantly be working with those around you. You know, very similar to basketball in the sense that uh, more so I'd say like in zone defenses, uh, but even on set plays and things like that, you have to know where your teammates are going to be and know their tendencies and, and know how they like to move and the shots they like to take and the, the shots they like to defend. So uh, it's it's one of those things that takes a lot of years of practice and experience working with the players around you to capitalize on those and, and make the most of it. And you see that with, with a team here like Greenland, um, clearly based on this production and uh, the number of fans that they have in attendance and the commercial we just saw. I mean, look, the wonderful penguin mascot they have uh this is a pretty important tournament for them pretty important uh event and i think they take handball pretty seriously uh for a country that while it is a uh a kingdom of it is a uh, what's the word i'm looking for excuse me a country connected with denmark uh they're still not a very uh, land wise they are a very large country, but population-wise, looks to be just over 50,000. Um, so, if you look at uh, you know cities in the U.S. that have 50,000 people, uh, that's that's most that's most cities. So, it's pretty wild that a country of this size and you know they're spread out all around the massive land that are able to uh, you know really build a pretty strong handball uh, power. Um, Looking at the population of Nuke right now, they're just over 17,000 there. So I believe uh, my my friend in Greenland, Pierre, he let me know that the arena here seats about 3,000. And I would say it's every bit as <laughs> packed and, and then some. So, you know, to think about the fact that the city of Nuke has a population of 17,000 and there's maybe 4,000 people in this gym right now is... It's a wild thing to think about that almost, you know, a third, uh, around a fourth of the uh, the city is is at this game. Um, shows you the support they have there, and I think that's something that we here in the U.S. are really looking forward to achieving uh, for 2028 uh, with the games being hosted in L.A. Really trying to lay the groundwork to build the, the handball community in L.A. as well as different parts of the country to utilize that Olympic session as a, a means to catapult the sport where we're getting a lot of kids involved and a lot of younger players seeing the opportunities that they can have with this cool sport. And I know a lot of gym teachers, uh, they teach handball just because it's a game that you know helps kids with their hand-eye coordination, being able to catch and throw a ball while running. These are all pretty athletic uh, talents that, you know, you look at other sports, Soccer, it's 
mostly utilization of your feet, which comes into play, you know, for goaltenders here. Similar aspects, uh, a lot of similar similarities between goaltending with with soccer, lacrosse, field hockey, uh, and even playing, you know, some catcher with baseball. So a lot of a lot of things translate there. But um, you know, from the aspect of looking at sports around the U.S. that utilize the amount of athleticism that handball does, it's it's really a unique aspect that um, it kind of gives everybody an opportunity to be on the court and have their role. And as long as you have a well-oiled machine where everybody knows their duties and how they can help the team, uh, that I think that's that's important and can lead to some great success. So I try to you know relate it sometimes to you know offensive linemen in football where. When you're playing defense here for handball, if, if everybody knows their responsibilities with with pass blocking and run blocking and what your assignment is, then nobody's going to get through. And uh, that's what you like to see, or at least make it complicated for them, as we've seen the Greenlandic defense and the Canadian defense do yesterday, is that they've made it tough for our, our U.S. shooters to shoot from distance. And as a result, shots are getting blocked at six leading to an easy recovery for the opposing goalkeepers who are then able to quickly pick up the ball and, and send it in transition. So we'll see uh, we'll see what USA can do here at halftime to kind of tweak some of those uh, offensive woes. But I think defensively, see if we have any more rotations in. We saw a few mental lapses, but all in all, I think was a great... Uh, I shouldn't say great. It was a solid defensive effort there, and we'll see how they can continue to improve here. And again, it's a great learning experience for a lot of these younger players. We saw some new faces get some solid minutes there from individuals like Katie Timmerman, who I said, you know, has only been playing this game for a few months, having a strong basketball background, um, as well as Peyton McCarthy. She helped generate a few two-minute penalties and also got one. Uh, herself on the defensive side but uh, you know Peyton's only been playing handball now for two years uh, and one of those years she spent uh, with a pretty substantial injury so it's great to see her out here it's great to see her stepping into uh, Team USA very quickly she uh, she was playing goalie for us at Ohio State for a large majority of her time um, and luckily we have some great goalkeeping coaching and have been able to work with some of our other goalies and we saw a need at the pivot position and we felt uh, uh, the coaching staff Mike King and Katie Ann Scherer felt that uh, Peyton would be you know best utilized in at the pivot and ever since then uh, some solid coaching has led to her becoming a force at the collegiate level here and the, the U.S. stateside club level so I think that that helped get her some some opportunities here to play with Team USA, and so far she's already gotten some great minutes today and, and saw some time yesterday. So as the game goes on, we'll see if uh, we get some of all those newer faces, fresh faces into the games. As we talked about yesterday, I think, you know, Cedar Bellows comes to us from Beach Handball, and that's definitely an area that I, I know our women's team has done pretty well at. They just finished up a tournament, uh, I believe it was in Mexico, got third place so I think that qualified them for the next round of games so uh, they've they've done pretty well they've qualified for world championships on the women's beach side in the past and have a pretty strong network of players and really excited to see what they can continue to do uh, so we're really really looking forward to that but a lot of opportunities like I said to get involved with the game both on the court, in the sand, in the stands. So there's a lot of a lot of cool opportunities, and uh, really just looking to see if anybody's interested in making handball the great sport we all want it to be here in the U.S. And I know countries around the world are always looking to see. Oh, hey, once Team USA and, and the U.S. takes handball seriously, it'll be a force to be reckoned with. As we see the second half of play get started. Greenland wastes in no time, but uh, I think we get called for a travel there. And we're going to restart play, and it looks like Sana Wheeler is going to be taking over in the in the cage there. 
give Fazolda a break after her player of the match performance yesterday against Canada. A lot of new faces here in the backcourt. As we see Zarina Monroy working with Lysha Martinez. McCarthy in at pivot. I think we got Beatrice Congas Perez at, at right wing. And I can't quite tell who's at left back, but we see a goal there from Monroy forcing her way through. Much needed goal there from Team USA. 16 to 6 now is the Greenland lead over the Americans. Still solid attendance here from these Greenlandic fans. Shot goes off the post there for the Greenlandic right wing. So we see Ariane Clerk step in at, at left wing. Fellow Buckeye to McCarthy there. Clerk spent the last few months training with a second league French team in, in Reims. The Americans are going to continue to work it around. Great move. Great, great breakthrough. Not enough stick em on that one. Unfortunately, she sent that one high. Ooh, Nelly got away with the potential two minute there. Held on for a little bit too long, it looked like there. Martinez did, but still got the shot off. Capitalized on the goal. Greenland now leads 17 to 6. Yeah, a lot of a lot of times we'll see here in the States players don't have the opportunity to play with with Stickham. And as a result, the players that have, have experience with Stickham, their sh passes and shots all go way too high. As we see the feed into McCarthy. Oh, she can't hold onto her footing there and uh, can't get enough power on that shot. She gets back on defense. Another shot off the post. Wheeler has got to be pumped about that. That's two off the post so far for Wheeler in this early in this second half of action. But we see Cedar Bellows in it at left back. Uh, she was the one that had that great great breakthrough opportunity there. But uh, you would usually think that uh, players who've never used Stickham, a lot of their passes and shots end up going a lot lower. So uh, Bellows, like we said, comes to us from the beach side. No Stickham in beach. So we'll see... Uh, you know, this I'm not sure how familiar she is with working with Stickham as the shot from Monroy goes off the hands of Fly and flies on out of bounds. But early in this second half, three minutes in, and we've seen some some solid ball movement, some good looks here from Team USA on the offensive end. Gotten pretty lucky here on the defensive side, I, I would say. Some confusion there, it looks like. And another shot misses the goal entirely. Wheeler now just absolutely pumped after seeing so many shots not go in the net, and she didn't have to make any saves. So that's that's a big win. We'll continue to work the ball around here for this American backcourt. Martinez, nowhere to go. Finds McCarthy, help out. McCarthy's pass almost out of bounds. Bellows, uh, you can't do that one. That's a uh, that's a no go here. Unfortunately, she tried to uh, <laughs> tried to flick it off, a little roll off the hand there to her teammate Monroy, but flung it straight up in the air. Tried to catch it. Cannot do that. Cannot pass the ball to yourself. We learned that one recently uh, at a recent referee training session. Solid defense there. That one looks like it's going to get, say, they'd uh, hit off the Green Atlantic player and it'll be Team USA ball. Wheeler to inbound. Team USA regains offensive possession here. Martinez calling the play. Bellows, open cross. Monroy, shake and bake. Beatrice, nowhere to go. Restart play with nine. Oh, okay. Martinez directing orders. Trying to set up the play. Monroy, jump fake. Nowhere to go. Looked like McCarthy kind of got in her way there, clogging up the middle. Try to use uh, your pivot as a shooting shield there, but uh, did not work that way. Passive play is called Martinez. 
tries to get the shot off. Nine meter awarded. Monroy blocked. Uh, Martinez almost gets the rebound. Nothing going. As we see a save there from Wheeler in transition. But uh, I'm not sure. I think they're going to call. Yep. Okay. That's what I thought. So Cedar Bellows uh, jumped into the six to try to block the shot and uh, landed before the shot got off. Uh, so he cannot do that. She's used to the, the beach rules there. So a seven meter will be awarded after playing defense into the side of the six. Wheeler with the block. Brick wall Wheeler. She has now got two seven meter saves in two games of play. Great work there from Sana. Just shutting it down. We got Sophie the safe and shut it down Sana. That's uh, great goaltending from the U.S. We've had such strong goaltending on this women's team for many, many years. As we see an outlet pass from Fly. Goes flying by. And the U.S. now, opportunity to have a stop and maybe pick up a goal here. Clerk, no angle. Trying to squeeze that one through the keeper's legs. Couldn't get it to work. It's one of those things. It's very difficult uh, in handball. Get those high percentage shots. So you see a lot of times the wings will take what space they can. But when you're jumping in and goalie's on the, on the post and they're eating up a couple feet, and you don't have much room to operate. There's not a lot of room for error as we see that one squeak past. Wheeler on the near post, extending that Greenland lead now 18 to six. We'll call this the young young squad here for Team USA as we see a lot of new faces, and they've been playing okay. Solid, strong defense there from Greenland. McCarthy to restart. These are valuable minutes here for Team USA as they have, like I said, a lot of fresh faces uh, getting that. International experience, you know, experience against a strong squad. As we see, a uh, looks like a critical uh, injury here from the Greenlandic player. I think uh, someone might have fallen into her her legs. Uh, she is still down. Looking at the replay, can quite tell. Looks like someone must have slid into her. Unfortunate here. We've seen a couple, couple big injuries for the Greenlandic squad. As we look at this massive wall of fans. Again, great to see such high attendance here for this women's handball match. As they've gotten the Greenlandic player off. And it makes me wonder uh, if we got an update from anyone on Julia Taylor's status. Um, but... We'll see how that unfolds as they continue to clean up the area. Maybe there, yeah, she might have got some blood. Not sure. Uh, that might be part of the delay here. Uh, it's one of those things that uh, you know we were talking about the referee training there, and the referees are doing a good job of controlling today's match. And you know, again, we talked about the opportunities that people have within the sport of handball here in the U.S. We see a nice. Nightmare set shot there from Bellows. Blocked. It will remain U.S. ball. But one of the biggest opportunities is the ability to become a ref. And we need referees on the beach and indoor side. And that's something that I think, uh, you know, if you have any interest, interest in refereeing, it's a great pathway as Bellows' shot's blocked once again. And she is hitting the face. She is getting banged up on these opportunities here. Yeah, becoming a ref is, is one of those things that you look at, uh, you know, the sport of handballs. We see the pass in transition is stolen by the Americans and then, once again, stolen by Greenland. But the referees are a requirement to the game. As we see, Greenland elects to take a timeout here under that last 30 seconds of chaos. Um, but referees are, are on a really big requirement of the game, as well as table officials. So with handball, there's typically two refs, uh, as well as a table official who will be monitoring illegal substitutions or comments from the bench, as well as 
individuals working the game clock and the score sheet. So a lot of roles uh, with each game. And referees are one that have an opportunity to really rise in the ranks pretty quickly. We have a, a very small referee pool here in the U.S. And really looking forward to getting anyone that we can uh, who's interested, involved, and getting out. There's tons of games that you can referee, so there's no shortage of that. Uh, and the referee committee right now pays fairly well. So uh, if you're looking to make a, some side money and you're, I'd say, living close to some of the more prominent teams in the U.S., uh, you have the opportunity to make some money, learn a cool sport, and who knows, uh, might be refereeing some some international games. We've seen some some referee pairs that we've built up through the years that have gone on to do great things and we'll continue to look to build upon our referee program over the years as we gear up for LA 2028. Timeout's been concluded and Greenland now in possession. Working it around. Even strength here on both sides. I haven't seen too much of six on six play in a while after a lot of penalties from the first half. A great save there from Wheeler on the wing. Wheeler on the wing has been money on that right side. So she has got now quite a few saves here in the second half of action. Great call there from Borsos to swap goaltenders. Fazzle was having a fine game. Uh, but good to see uh, Sophie get some minutes. Uh, we see the medics are getting the stretch here, which is not a good sign. As we see Monroy slashing through, nine meters going to be awarded, trying to make out the uh, situation as best as possible. It's hard to hard to see uh, with the feed that I have, so I apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. But I think they're still evaluating the Greenlandic players. Greenland with the interception, and she's going to take that one all the way to the house. That's got to be none other than, I think it's Anya Heilman. Great steal, great heads-up play there. She anticipated that pass from about 10 miles away. As we see Timmerman enter the game at the center back position. Not sure she, I think she played some point guard. Uh, great feed into Gascon. Great goal there from the veteran Sarah Gascon. Excellent cut, excellent finish. Definitely needed that goal. It's been quite the hiatus since the U.S. last got a goal. Greenland working it around. See what they come up with here as for several key entries. Uh, hopefully that doesn't play a factor into the rest of their competition shot from nine that one sent well wide of the cage wheeler's definitely pumped about that after she's had quite a few great saves here in this in this second half of action we'll see uh you know at the end of the game who's up for player of the match on both sides a lot of great contributions from the greenlandic side and same on the on the U.S. side, so we'll see how, how the voters uh, voters decide. Working around Terman crossing German cross with Gascon Bellows nowhere to go gets the shot off the crossbar recovered finished and that's what we like to call picking up the trash. Great work from Monroy to stick around. Looking for that ball, coming off the crossbar, recovered, sent it home. Great work, great work. That's two goals here in the last two offensive possessions for the Americans. We'll see if they can continue to build on that as the lead's now only 11 for Greenland. 12 minutes into this second half of action. Greenland working it around. Cutting, save, Wheeler, quickly recovering. She has been absolutely dynamite from the right side over there. Huge save on a breakthrough opportunity. Love to see it. Sana playing right now in Norway. A lot of good minutes there. She spent some time uh, in Columbus, Ohio, playing with Ohio State as we see 
Greenlandic fast break off the post. Oh, recovered quickly, and Wheeler couldn't get into position. I was too busy praising her her past year. Unfortunately, I commentator cursed on that one. But right now, she's playing with Valaringa handball, which is in the second division in Norway. Excuse me, Division Two. They have their own naming conventions over there. The U.S. will now try to get things going again on this offensive possession. Seen some success recently. That last one was a little unfortunate. So we see the medics. It is not a good scene on the Greenlandic sideline there. Continue to got a passive play here, so the U.S. has got to get a shot off. Bellows, oh, pass to Monroy, goes off her hands. Greenland to recover and restart play on the offensive end for them as they find a wide open pivot. Not much Wheeler can do there. Sings that one bottom right corner. Gascon to restart play at midcourt. Uh, that ball goes out of bounds. Another unfortunate turnover there for the U.S. Greenland resumes offensive possession. High pressure there from Congress Perez. Working it around. Right wing. Wheeler can't get to that one. Had some great success there. But it's the hard part with uh, handball goaltending is you can't get them all. Uh, no matter how good you are, the someone's going to score at some point. U.S., let's see what they can do now. Trailing 22-8. to 8. 15 minutes left in this game. German cross there with Gascon. Pass to Clerk, out of bounds, Greenland ball. Greenland, sidestep, rising, firing, finishing. Solid move there from Greenland's number 11, Eileen Peterson. My apologies for mispronunciation. Not sure how to pronounce Eile. It's A I L I. So we see some substitutions here. Kathy Darlin back onto the court. Taking over her usual spot at left back. Monroy, Timmerman, German cross with Gascon. Monroy, swim. Nowhere to go. Fees, Darling. Stuffed to Clerk. Gets the shot off. Decent angle, tiptoed around the defenders, but that one's saved by Fly. Peterson working around. Clerk goes for the steal, leaves the right wing open, and that one's going to be goalkeeper ball. Try to float over top of Wheeler. Not an option there. Looks like Perez Kangas. Beatrice is going to take a seat. Ashley Butler is going to come and take her spot there at the right wing. See if the U.S. can beat their mark of yesterday of 11 goals and hold this Greenland team to under 26. I think each day continue to improve on your skills. It's really the intent there as the pass to Gascon is a little bit late there from Darling. And that one's stolen by Greenland, but... The pass in transition goes wide. It'll be USA ball. All good. All good. Take a deep breath, ladies. Working it around. Timmerman at the center back spot. Darling at left back. Monroy right back. Getting plenty of passes in here. Empty cross from Monroy. Darling fakes. Feeds Clerk. Clerk. Gets a shot off, off the crossbar. That one's going to go out the side. 
No luck here today for Clark. She spent the last few months in France. A lot of great experiences there. She's now going to be coming back to Ohio and continuing her education in chemical engineering. So we see Greenland setting up their attack with the left wing running in for a second pivot. Pick has been set. Space drawn. And uh, they're going to say it was a charge. It looks like I missed the hand signal, but it's either charge or it looks like Coach Dina Borso is going to elect to take timeout here. I'm a fan of that timeout. I know many of my players will lecture me on when and when not to take timeouts. I'm definitely a fan of letting the letting the players play. You know, coaching really comes into into the factor of preparation and and what you've done throughout the season. At these international levels, it's tough because you really only have a few days to train before the competition, and so you got a lot of fresh faces that have never played together it makes things a little difficult to know you know how they're going to work together um but i i'm definitely not a fan of uh calling a timeout after a goal so anytime we get a nice defensive stop that's a great time to take a timeout and uh i know they're pumped about that one but once again team usa trailing 23 to 8 against greenland here at the 2023 women's world championship nachc uh, qualifying tournament. Yesterday's match against Canada finished 26 to 11. Not a not a stellar uh, finish, but a solid start to that game. And uh, saw some similar here today. They started out pretty well, and we're kind of closing off on a, a pretty high note so far. I think we'll see how these last 11 minutes and change work out for Team USA. Clark tries to feed McCarthy. Buckeye connection was not there. The two have not actually uh, probably played on the same team as we see a, a left wing goal there from Greenland. The fans are ecstatic about that one. Uh, like we said, McCarthy having been injured and playing goalkeeper uh, and then moving to pivot once Clark moved to France. The two of them have not... Uh, been able to connect uh, on the handball court here. So we'll see how that changes throughout the rest of this game and the rest of this week. Empty cross for Butler. Butler sidesteps, finds Monroy. No where to operate. Recovered by Clerk. Clerk in transition. Uh, I think that was Timmerman. I can't quite see. Looks like we're out. I think we're running a, a two pivot. Uh, operation here with Gascon at pivot. The two pivot really allows the uh, backcourts to hopefully have some better room to operate because the defense has to focus so heavily on those pivots. You can kind of stretch them out and it'll leave an ISO in the middle for your center back. So we'll see. Uh, Butler likes to do those one on one moves. See if she can capitalize on it. The referee's call passive and Monroy sends it to the top shelf. Flying by fly. Fortunate uh, for Fly there. It's going to be too easy for me to continue to say that for her. As the U.S. now, nine goals to Greenland's 24. Great shot from Monroy. She's been looking for that for the you know all day today and some of the game yesterday. But you know those Greenlandic defenders have gotten their hands up and able to block a lot of those shots from six. So we'd like to see a lot of more of those uh, shots from deep continue to fall. As we see one shot from deep stuffed by Wheeler. Shut it down. Shut it down, Sana. Great work there from Sana Wheeler. Nice nine-meter set shot save. We'll see if the U.S. can capitalize on the stop and get a goal of their own here. Continue with the two-pivot setup. Movement, Monroy. <laughs> that one squeaks in. I couldn't tell. It looked like it was blocked, uh, but it luckily got blocked into the goal as Fly went down and scrambling to try to recover it off the bounce great work back-to-back -back goals from Monroy might be making a late uh, surge for player of the match here for Team USA as they now have 10 goals cut the lead to 14 launches that one from deep Peterson no no dice off the bars 
and Wheeler to recover. That's now two straight trips for the U.S. in attack with goals, and almost, oh, spoke too soon, recovered there by Gascon, the shot from Butler off the crossbar, bounced right back to Gascon, who was pleasantly waiting to pick up the trash and chuck that one in the dumpster. Great work to look alive there from the veteran Sarah Gascon. So it's now 24 to 11. They're not putting on the scoreboard though, so I apologize. It looked like we had a proper restart after a goal, so I may have misspoke. Greenland working it around, crossing in the backcourt. Shots blocked. That will remain Greenland ball. This defense from uh, the U.S. has improved. I think this two pivot uh, move on offense has also helped out. So really, uh, really great uh, in-game play here from Coach Borsos to make some adjustments to help her team out. So you see Clerk step up to help, but gave way too much room there for the right wing, and Wheeler's had success shutting down shots, but a little too much for her to, to cover on that one. 25 to, it looks like the Gascon goal will not stand, so 25 to 10. We see some pressure on Butler. Gascon to come outside a pick. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Gascon in the backcourt now. Better in reset and play. Monroy. Timmerman shots blocked at the six. Easily recovered by Fly. Greenland moving in transition. Second wave denied by Clerk. Good recovery there from McCarthy. The Stuffed there, and that'll be Wheeler Ball. Great defense there from the Americans. Gascon giving it her all there to deny that pass to the pivot. Six minutes to play here from Nuke, live from Nuke, Greenland. We'll see if we can get another great opportunity for a goal here after this two pivot setup has really helped open things up for the American attack. Timmerman back to Monroy. Shake and bake, Ricky Bobby, Clerk, back to Monroy. Swim move. She wanted to go to the pool, but none of the pools in Greenland are open, I can tell you that much. It is cold there, ladies and gentlemen. I think I saw a stat, 33 degrees Fahrenheit, as that pass from Monroy also was cold, and it sent sideline out of bounds. Greenland, restart and play here. Taking their time on offense. They got this one in control here. Five minutes and some change to play. Up by 15. No need to do anything crazy. Work on their plays. We see wing in, pivot cross. Peterson, she's been shooting. We'll see if she's going to get another big shot off. She's the tall passive play is called. Easily saved by Wheeler. Wheeler's got Clerk in transition. Too slow on the, on the trigger on that one. Gives the easy outlet again. <laughs> Close calls with the dribble. Close calls. Everybody get used to the stick em. Holy cannoli. It is a sticky one. So we see Bellows come in at right back. Butler at center back. Again with our two pivots set up. Timmerman's shot. Looks like we're going to get a corner. Must have been tipped at the line there. Great opportunity. Like I said, this is kind of the, the lineup I would have expected. I'd like to see our, our pivots kind of stretch the defense a little bit and give uh, some more space for Butler to operate one-on-one, -on -one, hopefully in the middle. Uh, need our backs to also stay wide there. As we see, pass from Bellows almost intercepted there. Butler shot, blocked by Fly. Fly looks... Nothing going on the outlet in transition. Greenland will take their time working it up. Butler with some high pressure. Going to let Pedersen be. As they take their time now with just over three and a half minutes to play in this one. Again, Greenland 25 to USA 10. Seeing a lot of great moments here from the U.S. Pump fake there from Greenland. 
Just need to capitalize on some of these things. Great pressure there from Clerk leads to a steal. McCarthy to Bellows to Butler. Bang! Bang, bang, bang. That's what we needed right there. Nothing like good old defense is the greatest offense. Am I right? Uh, fantastic transition. Great ball movement in the fast break. Everybody coming in line. I mean, one, two. Almost the entire team touched the ball on that, that transition, which is great to see. So four out of the six court players getting involved to lead to that goal. McCarthy from her knees wrapping her up. Two and a half to play here. Greenland 25. It looks like the Gascon goal from earlier did count. They just did not put it on the board, so my apologies to Sarah. Uh, I'm not sure what the situation is here. Oh, they're looking for a ball swap. I don't know if the ball went out of bounds or might have got some, some sweat on it. Greenland to work the ball around. Continuing. Oh, miss from McCarthy. She learned her lesson from last time and let go. <laughs> Did not need another two minute here towards the end of the game. Got to move your feet on defense. Know where you're trying to force them. In this case, you got a right handed right back. You want to force them down the alley. It's that ball off the crossbar. Bounces straight down. I didn't think it crossed the plane. I would uh, like to see the video replay on that one. As uh, Coach Borsos might be electing to throw the challenge flag on that last goal. I'd kid. There's no challenge flags here. This is not the NFL. Um, but a little bit of rules recap on that one. You do need the whole ball to cross the goal line for it to stand. Uh, the way the ball bounced there might have been a close call. So it definitely hit the top crossbar. Bounced straight down, but then bounced back out of the goal. Might be because of the rotation on that shot, but no matter how you slice it, current score is Greenland 26, USA 12. If the score stands, I would count that as an improvement from the game yesterday where the U.S. finished 26-11 to in defeat against Canada. This Greenland team beat Canada by 11. Um on Tuesday so I think it's or excuse me um, on Monday so being able to uh, be in contention here and keep things interesting definitely a win for for our American ladies like we said on the previous broadcast and earlier in today's broadcast it's all about learning continuing to grow gaining those experiences and building upon uh, you know, our women's handball team for years to come. So having more opportunities like this are very vital as we prepare for LA 2028. It's that pass off the hands of Timmerman and, and out of bounds. Again, Coach Borso is electing to keep, you know, a lot of those young faces and, and new to uh, the senior national team out there and getting some valuable big-time minutes here against one of the top teams this tournament, Greenland. McCarthy <laughs> absolutely bailed out by Wheeler as uh, McCarthy learned her lesson, wasn't going to make contact from behind, and, and elected to give Wheeler a, a fast break, uh, a breakthrough shot there, which Wheeler said, not today, not today. Shut it down, Sana strikes again. Bellows trying to feed it into McCarthy, nothing going. Greenland in transition. Floats that one over, over the hands of Wheeler. 27 to 12, 40 seconds to play in this one. As we've seen some great strides here from this American squad. A lot of new faces stepping up, contributing. And that's what we like to see as we, like we said, working towards, you know, a new team five years from now. A lot of these players may be... Maybe on that Olympic squad. Uh, we also might see a lot of new faces. Could be you. So if you're interested in getting involved, go check out our, our website, usateamhandball.org. And uh, 
please reach out to us, info at usatmable.org, for any, any insight or questions you may have on how you can get involved. As Gascon shot there at the end, could not fly through the legs of Fly, and Greenland secures the victory, their second, excuse me, yeah, second victory of the uh, third, uh, my apologies, their third victory of the week. Uh, defeating Team USA 27-12. to A great effort there from the Americans against a very strong Greenlandic squad in front of an absolutely jam-packed arena here in Nuke. So if we see, continue to see the fans in attendance. Everybody's got their Greenland jerseys on. they got the Boomwhackers. We're going to be going live down the court as they walk us with the camera. This is fantastic here. We'll get ready to award our players of the match. Once we get that, we'll uh, step aside and catch you guys again on Friday. There will be no games tomorrow. Tomorrow's a day of rest, so enjoy your Thursday. Be back in action Friday at 3.30. And looks like the player of the match from Team USA is none other than Sana Wheeler. Way to go, Sana. Back-to-back goalkeeper. Awards here for Team USA with Sophie Fazold locking it down yesterday and shut it down. Sana collecting the player of the match today. So great work, Sana. Only playing the second half and still a fantastic effort. On the Greenland side, shout out to Ivalu Birge. No idea if we pronounced that correctly, but uh, she's going to be the player of the match for Greenland. Great work to... Uh, everybody that uh, made it possible today, thank you to our friends in Greenland for putting on a great production and making this production on our end possible. I'd like to thank the coaching staff and the supporting staff for the women's national team on Team USA for support, being very much in favor of uh, this, this stream. And we look forward to catching you guys on Friday. Thank you again for tuning in. And we look forward to what the future may bring. Maybe it's one of you. Maybe it could be a friend, a family member. If you know anybody that's interested in getting involved in a, in a cool sport like handball, there's tons of opportunities, like we said, from being whether that's on the court, in the sand, or in the stands. There's a need for you and any support you're willing to give. So please reach out to us via email, the website, any of the social media accounts, You type in USA Team Handball, you're going to find us. So without further ado, thank you guys, and take care.